<laughs> You're a good singer. <laughs> I've got no voice today. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Oh my good morning. <laughs> hey guys, so I am making dinner for mum basically. Well, mum and I might have a bit myself because it's too good to resist once it's cooked. So, um, they're sort of like, <laughs> they're sort of like the, um, pastitis I make, the triangles, but fairly different. Uh, so it's a sheet of puff pastry and then I water down just some tomato paste and then I just spread it all over. <coughs> Don't be disgusting. This is my time. <laughs> Um, yeah, spread it all over so that it's even. Take some shaved ham. Put that over as well. Um, you can either put, you know, another two there, but I just like to have three slices all together because it's big enough. Um, and then sprinkle some, is that ta tasty? Mm -hmm. Tasty cheese. They can use whatever cheese they like, but because we're not very um, lactose friendly, we'll generally use a lactose free cheese. Like but yeah, feel free to use any type of cheese. Yeah, you Just can something use that like, has flavour, something that has bite. And something that mm. melts mm. well, so mm. yeah. And then um, I put uh, crushed or sliced or shredded pineapple over that. Um, but I can't do that at this very moment because um, mum is at the supermarket getting my pineapple. Can you just hold that for a second while I... Yep, sure. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and I vlog often. Alright, so yeah, continue with your little one yeah. taking. Yeah, so um, basically just like that. Um, yeah, so that one is like so a can see, diet we got, yeah, cheese. We've got two cheese. This is this craft live free naturally delicious extra light 80% less fat and that's and this, this is, is my one free my lactose yeah. one yeah. so you can see the difference in the cheese just how it's cut cool. mm, but honestly like the cheese isn't the the most potent flavor mm. in it you'd think it would be pretty up everything there, combines yeah so it doesn't really matter just hmm. when you think of it she's life. making like she's pretty much making a pizza pocket yeah. just yeah it's 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 puff pastry instead of just normal like just just breading basically so, yeah. That's funny, eh? We just went to the gym. Yeah, we just went to the gym. Now, today's an off day today. No weights today or anything like that. It was just a walky, joggy day. But, um, yeah, uh, physio said I can't, I can't just go out and walk. Uh, I need a stable, like, flat surface. So the treadmills at the gym are obviously the best option. Uh, even though I'd prefer to go walking outside because it's a very nice temperature out at the moment. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. gym was packed. She said, yeah, he said the reverberation of going on different levels and if the concrete or the footpath or the sidewalk or whatever is, yeah, it's just, it's just basically I need something that's flat that um, won't jar my back. So, yeah, anyway, went to the gym, did half an hour, with runny slash joggy slash walky each. Yeah. And now Hannes is, yeah, making her things. I got some fish in the oven for me. I'm having the same thing as what I had last night because we had leftover fish, so why the hell not? Just stick a salad on the side of it, half a tomato, and I think, um, I might have some some corn kernels and maybe some baby carrots tonight. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, so you got anything anything cool going on? I went with my girlfriend Sophia today to get her tattoo. I sort of went with her because it's the same tattoo artist. So I wanted to suss out how he works and everything like that. And oh my god. She got it on her foot. And um, I sort of neglected to tell her that the foot is one of the most painful parts of the body to get tattooed on. So she got three words and a tiny little symbol and she was not hysterical, but to the point that I actually stayed back a moment and apologized mm. for how like, oh my God, oh my God, this hurts so much, oh my God, oh my God, she was. In the end, I, I said to her, if you don't shut the fuck up, 
um, mm. I'm going to punch you so that you're out of it. Mm. And yeah, and I'm just saying everything that I can to distract her. And I'm thinking, I'm, and I actually said to her, I'm like, I'll go wait until you have kids. Mm. Like, you think this is bad? Um, but yeah, she, even despite all that, it was quick. He did it in like under 10 minutes and uh, he has a really, really steady hand and really good at what he does. So he told me that he should have mine drawn up by the end of the week so I can get it done on Monday or Tuesday, whatever day I choose. I get paid on Monday, so that's like perfect timing. Um, and he's really inexpensive because he's young. He's like 20 and he's been in, a, he was started his apprenticeship when he was like 15, 16. So he's really, really good. Um, yeah, so really excited. Really excited for that. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get in the groove of mm. like this whole workout, and I'm a bit in beast mode. Are you feeling that yet? Like, feel like? Oh, it's only been. It hasn't really been a week yet. Uh, I think within like, within about two weeks, once my thighs have like settled down and built those like like those preliminary like muscles or whatever, the squats will hurt less because yeah. I'm really tight again at the moment because squats and then got the squats oh, see tomorrow. I've got like two months of mm. not you know not every day but two mm. months of irregular mm. workouts on you so yeah. yeah I'm not feeling it but you would be hey what? if your tattoo goes well when you get it next week or whenever yeah we're gonna drag mum and get her to get hers finally yeah well, are you still gonna well, get if your guy's good I'll get mine as well all right well the three of us will get ours then mm. I don't know where I'm going to get mine now, mm. my other one now. Mm. I want to get a small one there, but I don't know, it's too mm. visible. Mm. So for anybody that doesn't know, Anus is getting like a rather large tattoo. Massive. Boy, <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's getting across it starts the, here, yeah. and then it goes all the way around there, mm -hmm. there, mm. and then there. It's basically, um, basically vines really, it's and a each vine leaf, of ivy. yeah, vine of poison ivy, each leaf you get representative of a certain like yeah. time it's, in your life or something. Yeah, it starts with um, the conception of Jaja, so the first one's really, really small, and then it's a timeline to here, and then it's a big leaf here of when she was born, and then they start withering here, um, because that's like representing my illness, mm -hmm. and then there's two dead leaves here, because that's when I died in hospital twice. And then they're starting to get healthy here. And then on this side of my spine, it's all healthy. So they're starting to get healthy. I've got a one here with blue accents for Tanner because he spent most of his time with me when I was in hospital. One here that's like a chartreuse green um, to represent mum. Uh, just some normal ones here. Then one bigger one here, but it's curled in. And um, it's got one of those little, you know, the little spirally sort of things that come off vines. It's wrapped in that because that represents when I got diagnosed with bipolar schizophrenia, borderline personality disorder. And then, yeah, they start to get healthier. So, wait, wait, what are you saying? Your spine? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> in Aussie, you will understand what that is because there's a word that comes after spine. You're a spine cat. I won't say the word. Yeah. We don't say that word on and the And then um, <laughs> it ends with a big one here that's got white and orange accents. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a major. Well, yeah, if he, if, yeah, if he does a good job and, yeah. If you, yeah, might get ours done. I'm still getting mine on my wrist, so. How, where are you getting yours? On my wrist. Oh, forearm. Oh, you fag. I thought you were going to get the one, I thought you were going to get it here. You were, you were there, on the, on Do you know how good that would look on you? You got really nice forearms and You wrists. reckon? Yeah, just get your big one that you were going to get originally. Oh, maybe. Or there. Because you were. That's what I just showed you. No, but you're saying getting a little one. I'm not that little. Yeah, I'm talking about get your whole forearm. Oh, like, I'm probably not on the back of the arm, possibly on the inner, like yeah. Yeah, like here, because yeah. you want to get, um, you want to get uh, a sleeve eventually, don't mm. you? Yeah, but if he does a really good job, yeah, like, then I'll be, I'll be confident to get the, um, the butterfly at the spine at the base of my back. Oh, tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and then this little ankle like daisy or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I'll get them. The uh, get a like a Native American like get, get a dream catcher on my shoulder and stuff. He actually does really nice dream catchers. Uh, do you get a dream catcher and I'll fucking disown you? No. no. Seriously. Old badass tattoos. I will disown you. Yeah. yeah. I'm ahead of you guys. I've already got three, so I'm used to it. Yeah. I got such a high pain tolerance. Do you have a high pain threshold? I don't know. The worst thing I've ever had happen to me was a broken elbow and the cut in my eye, which I can't even remember because I was so little. 
Oh, oh, that's, oh, it's, um, that's gonna be really interesting. Yeah, it's like all my doctor stuff I've got to do. On the 10th of February, I had to go in for a small procedure and they actually had to put me out. And mum goes, When was the last time you were put out? And I go, Never. I've never been in the doc. I've never oh been in God, hospital. You I've, I've never been under through anesthetic or anything like that. So this is all going to be brand new to me. I've never been heavily sedated. I've never, oh, wow. I've never been knocked out. So they, so yeah, I've never been. You've never had an operation. I've never had an operation. Oh my god! I said the whole long time. Why do I cop all the shit? Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, that's that's a week and a half away. So. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, that's our vlog for today. I'm just waiting for Mum to come home because she volunteers. She yeah to go and get the stuff that we need. So then we we'll get a norm and sit down. That's about it. No. Oh my god! You've never. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that is so unfair. See you all tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh god, one take of the word for 10 minutes. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> See it. Just an art of thought. thought. It's not really going to be one taker anymore. Yeah, mum just got home. She got pineapple. This is not an endorsement in any way, but it's from a company called Love Doll Premium Tropical Pineapple Chunks. And the reason that it's so cool is because this is the first I've ever seen. It's got a resealable plastic lid that actually comes on it so that you don't have to like put it in Tupperware or wrap foil over the top or anything like that. It's got a ring pull tab on the top which cans have obviously like that. So that's that's the normal cans that you would get. This has the plastic seal but it's also a eat your own pack because you can it's got a forky stabby thing in there so that you can just open the can and eat it. Yeah so this is what this is this is generally what you do around here because it's yeah Tupperware costs too much. <laughs> yeah how freaking cool is that? Do you guys, whatever country you're in, do you guys have anything like that where it comes with the with the plastic oh, lid? Oh, well, didn't what... you see that in America? I didn't you know buy what? pineapple in America. But you know what? I would eat a tin of pineapple because it had that fork. Because it had that fork in it. Exactly. Yeah. That is so cool. Don't you? And I also flip off for God's sake. Yeah. Get out of the way. Take my strong hand. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, pineapple, and yeah. This smells great. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. that smells really good. It smells it smells up. pineapple. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a nice pineapple. Maybe. And you know what? It was a dollar fifty. Mmm. A dollar fifty. I thought that was fantastic. That's good pineapple. Is that yeah. cheap? Yeah, that's All right. cheap. We're getting that from now on, just because it tastes good and because it's got a freaking seal lid on it. Hey, I wonder what other fruit they do. Yeah, I've an idea. They might even do veggies. Because we're going to a different supermarket, so we've got all different things. Yeah, this is a Woolworths thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. See you. Well, you didn't get to be in the vlog today. Oh, here you go. You're getting in the vlog. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's about time for you to do something vlog related, you lazy shit. Oh, Mum. People were saying when you're doing your less little arty crafty farty thing. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. I'm painting the cane lounge suite again. Well, Remember last like, couple of years ago we oh, did it God. red? Yeah. Going back white, baby. All right, well, you can you can be an arty farty vlog tomorrow. She yeah. can paint Lucky, the I was do it today, outdoor it setting. Yeah, well. Plus, we're going to paint the inside of Zsa Zsa's cardboard cubby house. And that cardboard cubby house is awesome. You'll yeah. see more of it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Bye.